Welcome to Inside BricsCAD. My name is Ralph Grabowski, and it's my pleasure to show you the secrets of how BricsCAD works. When a drawing such as this one contains externally referenced drawings and or blocks, we can hide portions of them, and it can be useful to hide details we don't want to see. And that's what today's tutorial is all about, using the xclip command. To hide a part of an external reference or a block, we use the xclip command, which I've entered here at the command prompt. First thing it does is select entities, and so I'm going to select the external reference, press enter a second time to uh, end the entity selection, and now we can see the options available to us. On and off, turn the clipping on and off. Clip depth is for three-dimensional clipping. Delete is to remove the uh, clipping borderline. Generate polyline is to uh, create a polyline from the clipping boundary. And the one we're interested in right now, new boundary, creates a new clipping boundary. So I'm going to press enter to accept the default. And we can select an existing polyline as the boundary, or we can create a polylinal clipping boundary or rectangular one. Right now we're going to do the rectangular one, so I'm going to press enter to accept that. And ask for the first corner. So I click here, and I'll click halfway through there. And you can see how anything outside the boundary is now hidden from view. To uh, turn things back on, let's repeat the command. I'm going to select the same xref, and then I'm going to enter off. And now you can see how the clipping boundary disappears and the full XREF is back again. Let's repeat the XClip command, but this time we'll create an irregular clipping boundary. So I've started the uh, clip XClip command. It's asking me to select entities. This time I'm going to select the block and press enter. And now I'm going to go once again N for new, but now P for polygonal and it's asking me to select the first point. So I'm gonna pick here, pick here, here, and you can see that it's previewing what the entire finished polyline is gonna look like. So I'm just gonna keep clipping here at some points, and when I'm done, I can press enter. And here we have the irregular clipping boundary. For the final part of this video, I want to show you how you can make curved clipping boundaries, and that's done using an existing polyline. Now, I've created here a, a bit of an oddball shape of a curve. You can see over here in the Properties dialog box it is indeed a polyline. What I did is I used the spline command to first draw it, and then I used the pedit command to convert it into a polyline. So that's great. Let's get into the xclip command and see how we can turn this into a boundary. I enter xclip, press enter, it says select entities. This time I'm going to select both of the inserts, press enter, create new, ask me if I want to delete the old boundaries, and I say yes, and then I type in S to select the polyline. I'm going to select it, and boom, the clipping boundary applies to both entities, the xref and the block. So to end off, just a tip on the limitations of the xclip command. An object such as a block or an xref can only have one clipping boundary. Try to add a second one and as you saw, BricsCAD will remove the earlier one. However, one clipping boundary can span two objects, just as you saw in the last segment. Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.